What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Armored Warfare and usually I don't do a video maybe instantly after I do it the same or another Armored Warfare but this is something quite special because Armored Warfare has brought out another update or they have brought out an update and let me tell and I will run through today I'll be running through the updates that they that they've brought out maybe with maybe with some gameplay maybe with some gameplay but I don't know also there's a few things that I forgot to cover in the last Armored Warfare video that I do want to cover today so we're going to get straight into it and I hope you enjoy so without further ado here we go so what is in the new Armored Warfare update now we do have if we go into vehicles here we go into to the dealers section and they have a we have a new dealer called Francie Francie de la Ronchi, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm hope I'm hoping I'm getting that right. If I'm not then please any French people any French fans please do let me know in the comments. But what it is is that if we go on to it it's a mixture of French and Italian tank sorry, yeah French, yeah and Italian tanks. Now, of course, they haven't brought out the rest of they haven't brought out the rest of the tech tree like seven, eight, nine, or ten. But of course, that will be coming soon. But they have gone from tier three to tier six, and of course, one tier eight premium. But I'll I'll probably might be covering that in another video. But they have only got up to tier six, and probably in the other update maybe coming soon, they'll bring out the tier seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now. I have to say, there's one favourite vehicle that I've got out of this new dealer tech tree. And it is the AMX 30B Brennus. That vehicle, the tier 4 main battle tank, is just... It, I love it. And what makes it so special is that it's just the mobility, the armour for its for its tier is quite good. And, and there's something special about these French vehicles that that is that it's very unique compared to all the other tanks and tech trees in this game and I'll show you. So let's say we go on to the tier five, the AMX forty, and then we go on to let's say we go on to modifications. So here we go. Now as you can see it's something a little different compared to the other researchable researchable things you can do in the in the tech tree such as the challenger one let's say you can only see that you can only you can go up the line where you can where you can research all the stuff but with the with the new with this new tech tree this new dealer you can choose between a multiple uh, b between multiple uh, modules and researches so you can so let's say you want to you go up the protection aisle you can go up the you can go up the armor and then you can choose between the dozer blade the module ar armed liner and the expect expe it i can't even say the eric it experimental there we go smoke grenades so you can choose between these three and of course once you've got kind of these circles these kind of circles and that's the same for firepower mobility and I think that's it. But if you see kind of these, you can choose either either between one of the two. You can't have both. You can only have the one option. So personally, if you have this game and you have the AMX40, my loadout is my loadout for the modules in this vehicle is improved tracks, improved torsion bars. I think that's how you pronounce it, and an improved st um, stabilizer. Now you can go for the other options, but bear in mind that some that these modules are can be more expensive in experience and credits wise, and so do take do pick uh, your your preference your yeah do pick what you think you're going to be suited to. Don't don't pick my options because I do play differently from other people in the game. So of course, please do pick what you think you want to, 
you want for your loadout. So it could be for the bow barrel, it could be a new gun, it could be for the firepower, although it does go under mobility for some reason. So you can pick the the bull barrel, which is very nice. Now, another special thing that you do get in the French tech tree, let's say, is that once you look in here, you can see down at the bottom with the ammunition you got, your standard, you know, your your gun barrel here. But what they've added in, as you can see, that they've added the 20... You've got a wee machine gun port, excuse me. You've got a wee machine gun port just coming out here. As you can see where my mouse is. So you can actually fire, like, you can do, like, so kind of, like, let's say, um like the AMX 13 da how that's kind of got like uh kind of like AA guns well on the AMX 40 and these main battle tanks you can shoot actually machine guns so let's say you're reloading and you're reloading your your gun your main barrel and let's say you're you're in the middle of a combat you can quickly press the three key and then you can start shooting at your 20 millimeter um your 20 millimeter uh machine guns which is really neat, and I'm really happy they did that. Now, now, preferentially, I don't really like the AMX-40 for its tier. I think it could have a bit more armor on it, even though the French aren't known for their armor. But even still, I think that I've played a, a good couple of games in this tank, the AMX-40, and it does look sexy. I have to say, it looks sexy as hell. But I think that it could use a bit more, you know, armor for its tier. Now... That is really, that was the tech tree, that was the French tech tree. So you do, of course, have the Italians as well, which is the OF-40, another uh, tier 4 Italian main battle tank. So if we look at that, you can see that it's not as, you can see, I, I actually have the vehicle myself. If I, here it is. So you can see it's here, it's a lot different to the French vehicles. It, I think it does have a lot more armor on it. So if we go to upgrades, now it doesn't have the same kind of mod, the same special modules you get on it. It's kind of the same as the other vehicles you get on the Challenger One and the rest of the vehicles. So please don't be like surprised if you're if you're looking for anything special in the Italian ones, because it's not only it's really only the French vehicles that have kind of that special uh, thing going in that tech tree or that dealer. Now, moving on. To something else that I wanted to cover in the last video but which I forgot to do is that let's say you wanted to look at the armor of of a, of a particular vehicle like the Challenger 2 let's say so let's say you want to like how you've got World of Tanks and you want to uh, you want to check out the armor you go into Tanks GG for that but now uh, Armored Warfare what Armored Warfare have actually implemented this into their game, which what you do is if you right click on the vehicle and then you go to preview, you can see at the bottom you got render mode. Now there's three options you can do. You can do mod model, which is the one right here. You can do armor calculator or you can do armor map. So let's say you want to have a look at the armor calculator. So we click on it and bam, there we go. It's it's kind of like a uh, tanks GG where you can see about you can see kind of like the redness and the greenness of it. So, you, so you can see that the red areas are the are the 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 bits that you can't penetrate or is like impossible to penetrate. Like the front, like the front bit here and the and the turret, of course, invincible. But if you manage to get underneath it, you can see a wee green bit under there, which is only two hundred and forty one millimeters, ranging to ranging to about 217 and that's a hundred percent penetration so if you manage to go up against a challenger 2 and you see it and you see it with this you know upgraded hull armor um shoot the lower bit really do shoot the bottom bit like the really bottom bit because that's the parts you'll be able to penetrate on it now you can do which i didn't actually know you can go onto the challenger stock uh, hull armor or without the you know the extra armor now you can see there's a massive difference between the two so if you add that extra TES package you can see invincible but if you take it away you can see there's a massive bit here where, you c where it's just really you can just penetrate it with any tank well not with any tank of course with a higher tier so 
if these so watch out for that when you are up against challenger twos that if they don't have the if they have the stock armor just shoot really anywhere around here but if they have the extra padded armor then of course try and shoot for the lower area but the side you can see that it does have space armor at the side so good luck getting through that but if you're shooting at the side don't shoot here shoot the rear of the vehicle because that's really weak that's only got about a general thickness about 310 uh, so do shoot the sides at if you're shooting the sides either shoot the either shoot the side of the turret or the rear end of the vehicle because if you shoot here then it just won't penetrate and you won't get any value of it so of course the rear is not that good ranging to about 90 millimeters of course the turret not very good so what you can also do in this mode is that you can change the distance of where you're going to penetrate it of the vehicle so let's say your distance of 100 meters but then you go all the way back all the way to about 300 about a thousand meters which probably won't happen Okay, but let's say realistically about 320 some meters away and so you can see and then you can actually change the the loadout so you can let's say you're at hash right now so let's say you change to ap now you can see there is a slight change here that you can actually see that you can now if you're up above the vehicle you can now penetrate this part here and of course the top but i don't think any tank is taller than a challengers too but if you're Taller than a challenger two, then you can shoot down at this part here if you've got AP loaded. But if you have this special, this other AP round, then it's it's still going to be the same. But of course that it's gonna, of course you can see the difference when I when I change the distance of it. When you go right in, you can penetrate it. But when you go right out, it's going to be a challenge. You know, penetrating this thing. So really, really neat thing you can that they've added into the game the armor map which is this thing here which i haven't quite figured out yet but as far as i know you can actually see the model of how it is so with the that's with the extra package and this is with the stock you can see that there's a whole you can see there's a complete difference without the actual with the extra armor on so as you can see with the armor piercing rounds you can you can literally penetrate anywhere uh, the yellow parts I presume which mean that it's slightly going to be harder to penetrate but let's say you go to HE1 then of course it goes a lighter blue which means that you can see here the scale showing effect effective armor thickness taking into account the selected ammo so there you go that is really neat and then you can additional you can show the additional armor you can take that away you can show the caged armor you can take that away and then you can show the external components you can take that away so you've got a completely blank uh, challenger too here but if you of course if you add everything on you're going to see the whole thing again so there we go that is what i wanted to show you in the last uh, in the last episode or last video of Ch of armored warfare but i forgot to do that um but what they've also added into account is when you go into the hq mode they've completely changed it so you can see that now you've got the testing the vehicle testing area i can't remember if i did cover this in my last video of armored warfare i probably did but you can see that it's got a whole new layout where you can do the special missions, the special operations. And then of course you've got the normal missions where it's just the Operation Challenge, which is the normal one. And then you've got the hardcore one. So you can choose between, so it does show you that the challenging missions you can only do between I think tier 3 and tier 8. And, and the hardcore is tier uh, 9 and 10 I think, although I'm not sure. Now, as far as PvP goes, you can see at the top you've got co-op missions and then you've got PvP or player v player. So what you can do in this one is that I forgot to show you, you can either go into a custom match or of course you can either do the random battles which you get or you can do the global operations which is uh, the, the random battle is a 15v15 without response and then the global operation is a 15 versus 15 with response with response so that's kind of like in world of tanks with the new frontline mode where where you can res where you can respond as a different vehicle but in the global operations you get you still spawn as the same vehicle 
So there we go. I think that just about covers everything. Now, with commander wise, what you can do is it shows you the actually shows you now the ranking of what they're at. So my top one is Philip Holazuki. I think that's how you pronounce it. So he's at <coughs> excuse me, I burped there. <laughs> excuse me, I'm at <clears throat> clear my throat. Sorry. Now with my Philip, with the my top commander, he's at the warrant officer, so he's at the top. And if you, and then the second is at um, uh, Serbina Washington, and she's at Staff Sergeant One. And then you've got uh, Rachel Cramer, and she's at Staff Sergeant Two. And then you've got the last, which is Rash uh, Rashid Al. I don't know how you pronounce it, but he's at Sergeant First Class. So you can assign them, you can sort it by name, <coughs> I'm losing my voice here, you can sort it by name, you can sort it by rank, but I just go as a default, and then you can see, you can buy like, you can hire, you can do like different commanders, and of course the, diff the commanders have different, have different, you know, what's it called, different abilities so such as Philip has he has the increase he has a repair speed increase by 32 percent uh, the Rachel has uh, the reload speed increase by 4.6 percent per enemy within 50 meters and then Rash Rashid has has the camo factor when shooting improved by 12.18 percent so that he might be good for your for your tank destroyers and your really sneaky uh, tanks and then you go and then you got your Sabrina Washington where she's good at module damage improved by 37.56 percent so she might be good with your tank destroyer slash main battle tanks and then of course the felt might be good for your for really anything really because he's just repair your repair speed increased as well so he, he is really good for any vehicle Rachel would be good for maybe your tanks that you want really rapid firing for maybe like your main battle tanks that you want to get a really good uh, reload speed on it so she'd be good for that and of course what you can find out about each of these commanders that you can find out all the information on them and where they're from so such as Rachel she was born she was born and raised in Israel Rachel reserved in the IDF when she left the when, when she left the Israeli army, she moved to the United States where she worked for various private military companies, many of which did not have very sa savory reputations. Uh, she then met Alexander Cortez and agreed to join his forces. And of course, the place she was born was Rehitov, Rehe, Rehehov. I don't, even, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Anyway, she was born in Israel, and of course you could check out where each of these uh, uh, people were born, such as Philip was born in Germany, uh, Rashid was born in Syria, uh, Sabrina was wash was brought up in uh, San Diego, and then Victor was born in Russia. So you can see where these guys were born, all the information about them. So I think that's mostly everything covered in this video. Now boosters, what you can get for boosters is that you can get supply crates when you when you win uh, special missions or that, and then you do get premium time. And that's why I have thirty days of premium because you do get uh, uh, you do get premium days in these crates. You get gold, you get credits, you get boosters such as the ones that I've got. So the boosters are kind of like in. Kind of like similar to World Tank, where you get 50 reputation, you get 100 re 100 percent of reputation, you get 25 percent XP. So you can get a whole bunch of boosters, but you'll have to win them in supply crates, which I think you'll have to do for your first times two or first times four in the game. But there we go. I think that mostly covers everything in the game. Now, for crew-wise, I forgot to say that you can't. I think it is the crew is still the same, where you can choose their skills. You can choose a maximum of two skills for your vehicles. And of course, I think if you want to reset your your crew, let's say you don't want your off-road driving, you just press X here, and of course you can exchange it for something else. 
um and for another for another uh ability or another let's say battering ram or something like that so as you can see you can see that this guy has traverse speed plus three percent and then terrain resistance plus six percent and let's say you want to go to the gunner he goes plus aiming speed six percent and then tra tra traverse speed plus three percent and let's say you want to go to your to your loader he's got a plus 1.5 percent rate of fire so yeah you can choose between different uh ammun uh different uh skills uh, not ability different skills with your driver commander and and every you know crew here so you can definitely and even promote the crew if you want but i don't think that's not until later and then customize you can customize the the crew i think but yeah you can customize your crew to a different name if you want or you can change the different avatar let's say if you don't want this one or if you don't like the name you can change you can change it to a different name but i'm not i'm just going to leave everything the same but there you go ladies and gentlemen i think that mostly that probably just cover actually everything in the game uh decals let's say you can you can hire out decals so let's say you want a camo you want this one you can hire out you can either keep it for 225 uh, gold or you can or you can keep it for six million uh, coins which is a lot you can rent it for 30 days for 520,000 uh, credits or you can rent it for seven days which only costs 260,000 credits that's still quite a lot but of course i won't be doing any of that because i'd rather buy gold for it than pay six million credits to keep it i think what armored warfare should lower the price on that because that is quite expensive that's probably actually six million credits that's that's probably as good as buying another vehicle let's say that's probably as good as that's actually more expensive than a tier six uh main battle tank and probably and roughly ex as expensive as a tier 7 main battle tank so it's quite expensive that but there you go ladies and gentlemen that is today's video i'm sorry there was no gameplay but i just wanted to get as much covered as whole as much covered you know about the new update as possible so yes that is the new update on armored warfare the french and the italian vehicles are out and i'll just give you a quick show of them as well by the way this is the tier 5 one the italian one i think oh no is this a french wait no i th think no that's a french yeah so yeah that is this is a wee french uh our uh we amx 13 cda and of course once you hover it, it hover over it it shows you the sustained damage, the defense, the mobility, you, the utility, you, yeah, utility and the targeting, and of course it shows that the armored fighter vehicle are suitable for movement. The features are an auto cannon only, weapon selection, and powerful HE ammo. So it does give you perks. It does show you the perks of all the different vehicles, of course. So yes, I do. But I have to say, my favorite vehicle in that French in the french tech tree is this the amx 30b2 uh brennus but you can but with the french vehicles you can shoot up to tier 4 you can use you can switch between your ap your you know your normal ap gun your 105 millimeter ap going to all the way ranging to your 20 millimeter uh we dm your wee machine gun so i do like that and i and I do want Armored Warfare to add more into the game, more, you know, machine guns into the game. Because as you can see, you know, it's, uh, I, I don't know what other vehicles have it, such as maybe like, you can see even the, the Type 59, you can see it's got like a wee machine gun there, I think that is. So maybe they can add more machine gun into different vehicles and not just the French vehicles. But I like how they've especially just put that for the French vehicles, so well well done to uh, armored warfare there for doing that but there you go ladies and gentlemen that is the update for armored warfare i forgot that there is no sound so i'll probably need to add some more in sound into my more add sound in myself or something but anyway guys i hope you did enjoy and if you do want to see some armored warfare gameplay then please do let me know in the comments 
below. But anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching our support, and I will see you in the next video. See you later, and goodbye.